Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us share with you some news from Israel. Uh, you know, in the world today, everything is upside down. And the criminal is the victim. And the one who defend himself is the one who is doing aggression. And even names are used wrongly. As an example, they call the Muslims in Israel, they call them Palestinians. When all of us, we knew that not a single one of them is Palestinians. Even if you ask every single one of them, he would say we are Arab. So how the Arab became Palestinians? Same what they do. They occupy Iraq. They call themselves Iraqi. They occupy Syria. They call themselves Syrian. They occupy Jordan. They call themselves Jordanian. They occupy Constantinia and they give it a new name, Turkey. This is the nature of this cult. They hijack your home and then they claim it. And then when you try to take it back, they play victims. In the same time, there are people who claim that they are victorious. This is a video from the IDF, uh, the Israeli army. The peaceful Palestinian, this is what they say to you, like in the protest, or there was some congressmen in USA, they are attacking Israel. The peaceful Palestinians, and they are again not Palestinians, those are Arab, Hamas, Muslims, and you will see not even a single Christian is joining this horrible event. Did you ask yourself that the, the Christians who live in that land, they are the original people who live side by side with the Jews, which means the Jews will exist and those people will exist. The Muslims, they came as an invasion, and the Muslims agree that Umar al-Khattab is the first Arab to come to the city, and before that, nobody speak Arabic. Actually, nobody speak Arabic even after that, until the Caliphate Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, he ordered to change the language. So, when they say to you, we are victims, you have to examine who is the victim, and who is talking about being victim. When you see thousands of rockets, and you remember, it's not Israel is shooting. You see the problem supposedly about houses. How houses end with rockets? How are respond to an, a court order to evict houses, regardless if it's right or wrong? Let us say for the sake of argument, it's wrong. How the respond for that is sending thousands of rockets, and then they say to you, we are peaceful. In the same time, look at the coward. The second the Israeli army start launching attack on them, they start begging everybody, please stop the aggression, please protect the Gaza, please protect the civilian, please. They hide behind the civilians. They kill from between the kids. And then when you attack them back, they do it in purpose. So if you attack them back, you are the bad person. I will hide behind the child. And then I will shoot at you. Not that gun, a missile. And if you shoot at me, you are the bad person. very evil tactic they use they kill you and then they play victims they shoot at you and if you shoot at them you are the bad person i saw a video yesterday let me see if i can find it and this is recorded by them, which is amazing, isn't it? How their trucks go be beside the houses, civilian houses, and they launch their missiles from between those houses. They are coward to go in the field to fight army for an army. As long as you're an army, you have missiles, you have guns, you have heavy duty machines. Why you are launching your missiles from behind Children's. The answer is very simple. 
they are cowards. They are wearing burqa. They hide behind women and children. So if you try to take them down, that will make it extremely difficult for the Israeli. And then the whole media in the world, they say, look, look what Israel is doing. They killed the child. I'm trying to find the video. In the same time, you will see how those, they call them civilian, are cheering up to Allah because they are shooting at the Israeli. And then when the Israeli, they shoot back, they start screaming, stop the aggression against us. This is not fair. We are in prison, you know. And you will see every, every single Muslim country in the world protesting, stop the aggression of Israel. Israel is killing civilian. Israel, criminals, they are killing people. What? And yet, a day before you said, if you are a man, come to us. The day after they come to you, you cry. We challenge the Israeli army. We challenge you. You are a coward. The Quran says you hide behind walls. The Quran says what? You hide behind walls. Who is the one who hide behind walls? Who is the one who is digging tunnels in the ground? But this is what the Quran, this is what the Quran told them. It is he who drove out the disbelievers from the people of the scriptures, the Christians and the Jews. It is he, it is he who put terror in their heart. It is he. So it's okay to drive them from their land. It's okay to take the houses of the Jews in Medina. It's okay to take even their Kaaba because according to Muslims, this is built by Abraham. It's okay to kick them out of Egypt, of Syria, of Iraq, of Morocco, of Tunisia. It's okay to take their houses, their land, their farms. It's okay. But they cannot take it back. Allah told them you can't take it. This is the top filthy hypocrite cult ever exist in history of mankind. It's fine to kill the Jews. It's mercy to kill the Jews actually for them. This is the leader of Hamas. He is a rat hiding in his cave. Like Osama bin Laden before, like a Zarqawi, like Saddam Hussein, all of them, they are heroes. But where do you find them? In the cave. وَقْتُلُوهُمْ حَيْثُ ثَقَفْتُوهُمْ Kill them wherever you find them. This is the leader of Hamas, May. The date is May 12. Kill them wherever you find them. This was a signal for all Muslims around the world to kill Jews wherever you find them. Maybe some of you don't, don't know what does that mean. I mean, kill them wherever you find them. We're talking about who? This is a signal from the leader of the filthy, of the cult of the filthy, disgusting, garbage, terrorist group, Hamas. Saying, kill them wherever you find them. Is a Twitter going to take off, down, such a tweet? No way they support Hamas. Kill them wherever you find them in Twitter. Kill the Jews wherever you find them in Twitter. And Twitter don't see that against their policy. But Trump is against their policy. Trump is dangerous. Do you see the cowards? And they, again, the same guy, he made a video, his hand is shaking like a chicken. Well, we know, we uh, you know, that we, if we are they willing to start seek for a ceasefire, we will see, 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 see ceasefire. You know, if they see fire, we will, we will see fire. They are begging for ceasefire now.
what happened where is the heroes where is the men where is the powerful where is the one who terrorist allahu akbar suddenly they are begging for seed fire and actually this is the game we shoot at you we kill your children we terrify you and then millions of muslims they go around the world and then that will put the pressure supposedly on the israeli government because they don't have leaders they have a bunch of potatoes in the office and then they stop the attack on the terrorists this is what they do every time soon you will see how many tons of thousands they will go to support israel in europe and you will see some funny stupid europeans supporting that just wait and even some jews because the left-minded people, they are left-minded. They don't see, they are blind. Stupidity is amazing. Kill them wherever you find them. Talking about the Jews. And this is a post. And let me give you, let me give you the tweet. And let us see if you report this to Twitter. Are they going to take it down? No way. Facebook to support terrorists. Actually, even here in YouTube, I, I made an uh, like the the the, uh, the title Israel waging war on terrorist. YouTube served me warning. Can you believe it? I could not accomplish the title. The title is Israel is waging war in terrorist. In a second, I received a warning. As long you want war with Israel and you are seeking war with Israel and you believe that you need to kill them wherever you find them why now you are asking for a ceasefire the answer is very simple cowards they want to hit you but you should not hit them this Hamas they are trying to gain publicity Remember, they are in competition with the other terrorist groups, which is the terrorist groups of Yasser Arafat. The one who used to make living from kidnapping women and children in airplanes. If you don't believe me, go and search in two seconds in Google. And then the stupid American, they forced the stupid Israeli to sign a stupid agreement about a stupid peace. When the peace will never happen. And all of us, we knew that all of this is just a stupid. And then a stupid Trump, he forced the Israeli to sign a stupid, stupid, a stupid peace with Emirates, stupid peace with Bahrain, stupid peace with the uh, whatever, Morocco. And then just today, all of them, they are going against Israel. Why the people don't understand that those people, they are not allowed to have peace with you? Because this is a disgusting religion. Muhammad told them, cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. Cry not for peace. So when they cry for peace, when they cry for ceasefire, only when they are weak, Chapter 47, verse number 35. Soon be not weak and ask for peace from the enemies of Islam while you're having the uppermost. This is the game. If Hamas is the one who can conquer Israel, do you think they will accept to have a ceasefire? No way. Now they are begging for it. Now they are asking everybody, please go in the street, make make a big noise, ask the government, all your governments everywhere in the world, put the pressure in Europe, especially in America, let them, you know, let them stop the, the fire on us, because if we they stay like this for five more days, God knows what will happen. All our balls will be crushed, and already we don't have any. So if you are a Jew and you are listening, you should know that their Quran is way more important than a stupid peace agreement you sign under the pressure of Trump. 
if you are a Jew, you should know that what you call it Abrahamic deal of peace is a just, not Abrahamic, because none of them believe in Abraham anyway. Secondly, it's just a joke. You are just fooling yourself. Actually, they will use that deal so they can penetrate your country. So the Emirati and the Bahraini and the Saudi, they will bring their money and they will start buying your country. They could not take it by war, they will take it, take it by buying it. Muslims in Bangladesh. Muslims in Pakistan. Muslims in India. Muslims in Jordan. Muslims in Sudan. Muslims in Africa. Muslims in Indonesia. Muslims around the world still they cannot fight Israel. Erdogan. Israel did pass the red line. Let us see what Erdogan he said. Let me show you this guy in the burqa. This is the most faithy, stupid, coward ever. Erdogan, I have a message for you, son of Muta. Instead of saying they passed the red line, what about you show us what is the red line for you? What Erdogan don't tell you, that the Mossad have three big centers of spying in the heart of Turkey, by the permission of the Erdogan government. What Erdogan don't tell you, that last year he made a business with more than $5 billion with Israel. What Erdogan don't tell you, that he is number one buying for high tech for drones and missiles and weapon from Israel. Erdogan, the one who makes speeches saying something and he do something else. All of them, they are the same. They make speeches for local use. He will look like a hero. He called Putin. Uh, dear my friend Putin, uh, shouldn't we ask the United Nations to put a shield of protection for the people of Gaza? Putin, he said to him, yes, yes, my friend. Yes, exactly. Yeah. By the way, I like the commercial about visiting Turkey, which published by the Ministry of Tourism, where a lot of naked girls was there. Go and watch the video <laughs> of the government of Erdogan. He read the Quran, Allah Akbar, we are a Muslim nation. You know, hijab, hijab, brother. And then the Ministry of Tourism, they publish a video of nakedness. Women are totally naked. They are asking people to come. They are desperate for money. Country is bankrupt. All those speeches, we know that they are for local use. It's the same as the president of uh, Iran when they ask him about when you say death to America, death to Israel. Why you say that? He said, this is just for local. <laughs> Erdogan, he said, we must admit that Turkey needs a country like Israel. Like, what the heck? Erdogan, even you need Israel? Erdogan, he said, we must admit, we need a country like Israel. I mean, you really, your speech touched my heart. Do you see the cowards? And count and see how long it's going to take before they announce victory over Israel. Allahu Akbar, we destroy Israel. We defeated them. We forced them to stop fire. And now they are begging everybody in the world. They ask Biden. You know the thing. So they talk to Biden, you know. The king of Jordan, he spoke to the Biden. The king of Saudi sent a message, etc. I mean, all of them, they are sending messages to the prince of Qatar. And then Joe Biden, he explained to them everything. He said to them, you know the thing. So after conversation 14 hours with the administration of Joe Biden, they got one, one answer. You know the thing. 
which mean the Israeli don't give a, I don't want to use the word, about what I will say. You know the thing. A Muslim, he posts in English, saying, look what the Talmud saying about Jesus. Uh, we saw what you Muslims say about Jesus. You insult him. You call him names. You say he is a man dead on the stake. You say that uh, uh, Jesus is just a man. He is not even worth to, 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 uh, to clean the shoes of Muhammad. And even your filthy prophet, he said that he is going to sleep with the mother of Jesus. So look, do you see how they try the filthy? They want you to hate the Jews. The Jews, they can say whatever they want about Jesus. We are a Christian. We believe that everybody, he can be whatever he want. We are not going to kill the Jews if they don't believe in Jesus. And just for your bad news, a lot of Jews are already Christians. So you are stupid again. A bad news for you. All the disciples of Jesus, they were Jews, you idiot. So if you try to make us hate the Jews, big failure for we are Christians. We will never even hate the Muslims. It is you who follow the devil and who hate everybody. Isn't it the, is, isn't it the Quran says, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment? Is that your Quran or my book? Is it your Quran saying, we are the one who kicked the Christian and the Jews from their houses? Chapter 59, verse number 2. And we install terror in their hearts. And now you want to play victim and you want to hide behind the Talmud. So that, do you see what the Talmud say about Jesus? Talmud is a book written by rabbis, many rabbis. And even if there is such a thing, that will not change anything for us. Because it's still at the end of the day, this is the land of the Jews and you are in occupation. When we say to the Muslims, who is the one who built Jerusalem? What the Muslims will say? You believe it or not, they will say David and who, who built Al-Aqsa more specifically. <laughs> who is the one? Hey Muslims. Who is the one who built Al-Aqsa Mosque? Can you provide us with some beautiful history reference from your books? According to your prophet? Is it true that your prophet, he said that the one who built it is, the one who finished building it is Solomon, the son of David, and the one who started building it is David? Is that your funny prophet saying that? Is that your funny, stupid prophet saying that the one who built the Temple Mount, the one you call it Baytul Maqdis or you call it Al-Aqsa, is that your prophet saying the one who built it is Solomon and David, the king of the Jews? So how they are the build it, the one who built it, and now it belongs to you? According to who? Or because we occupy it? because we kick you out are the same as Hagia Sophia and the same as hundreds of churches right now in Turkey they convert them into mosque so you can convert the churches into mosque but the Jews they cannot take back their temple the Jews they cannot take back their houses when the filthy Jordanian king with more than 40 army from 40 Islamic countries Volunteer even from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Syria, you know, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Egypt, you name it. They attack Israel from everywhere and then they kick the Jews from Jerusalem. And then the Jews, they attack back and they took Jerusalem. This time for good. Those houses they belong to the Jews, the one we are talking about, like it's about eviction of houses. This is not about eviction of houses. All of us, all of us, we knew that the problem is religion. And the Jews, they should understand that they are not fighting you because you took a land. They knew it is your land. 
every single Abdul in the world, he knew that this is your land. As you see, there is stupid prophet told them already a hundred times. Even there is stupid Quran told them that this is a land Allah assigned for the Jews. In chapter 5, verse number 21. Not only it is the land of the Jews, it is assigned for the Jews. And then what the Muslim they will say to you? Oh, at that time, the Palestinian there, they were not Muslims. So it's okay to kill them and kick them out or slaughter them. Ah, oh, it's okay at that time because they are not Muslims. Do you see the cripple religion? The cripple logic? The hypocrite? The cowardness? So it's okay at that time to kill the Palestinians according to the Quran because the Palestinians at that time they were not Muslims? It's okay for Allah to give the Jews the land of the Palestinians at that time. This is the Quran saying that. And every single Muslim will answer you saying, well, at that time they were not Muslims, okay? So it's okay to kill them. And this is how you should understand how this cult function. It's okay to kill you if you are not a Muslim. Al-Kitab al-Muqaddas, who owned the land before the Jews? That is a good question. Well, there is nothing is called on a land because there is no kingdoms to be counted, which means it was like a kind of an open land. We are talking about thousands of years ago. This is why you see that it says that Abraham, when he came, he built houses. There is no houses. Like, as an example, why it's called Bethlehem? Why it's called Beit Anya? Why even the Muslim, they call it Baytul Maqdis? Where is this is coming from? This is coming from the immigration of Abraham who is a person who speak Aramaic to that land. You will not find in history a single person, his name is a, an Arab name, who was a king of something called Palestine. Palestine is a land, or let us say a territory name, but there's no, whoever live in it, they call them Palestinian as long as they are not from the Jews. Why? Because the Jews, they have their own name already. The original Palestinians, if we go back in history, we will find that those people disappeared a long time ago. The one who was living there, it was the Aramaic, and those that became a Christian since the time of Jesus. And this is why we see in the story of Jesus and the women, the Aramaic women, who came to him, asked him about her daughter, and she was an Aramaic woman. And she worshipped him and she called him Lord. That is telling you that those Aramaic, they used to live side by side with the Jews with no problem. At least at that time. But none of the Arab. Arab people who speak Arabic. Until the time, did you see any time Jesus or anyone he spoke Arabic at that time? Why Jesus he spoke Aramaic? Did you ask yourself, when Jesus spoke Aramaic and he spoke Hebrew, because simply, this is the language of the land. If the language of the land was Arabic, Jesus will speak Arabic. Even the city Quran says, we never send a messenger except to speak in the tongue of his own people. Let us go to the Quran, the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay.
Chapter 14, verse number 4. We never send a messenger except to speak in the tongue of his own people. If you ask the Jews, sorry, if you ask the Mohammedan, the black stone kissers, and yet they call us pagans, what the language was Jesus speaking? They say, well, he spoke to the Jews. Okay, where well, Jesus came? He says, they said to you, Israel. <laughs> and why he is speaking Hebrew? Oh, because they are living there. We never send the messenger except to speak in the tongue of his people. So what the people was there? And not to forget to mention that the Quran is made by a stupid idiot. His name is Muhammad. So instead of giving the book a Hebrew name, he called it Injil, which is a Greek word. Which means Jesus, obviously, according to stupid Muhammad, was speaking Greek. Which according to the Quran now, Jesus was a Greek person and the Israeli, they were Greek people. And they used to eat calamera. So now, they are begging the world to stop what it's called aggression of Israel. They ask for it, and when the Israeli come to them, they cry. They are, you know, they are killing you. Look, what, you, you, just, you are the one who launched missiles on them. It is you. The problem was eviction a few houses and those they belong to the Jews and the court judge on that. It's not like a bunch of Jews attacking houses and taking the house. There's a court. There's a court order. Those houses belong to the Jews and you Muslims, you kick them from there. When the filthy king of Jordan, he kicked those people and now the, the, the Israeli, they took the land. Look how patient they are. They did not take their houses all those years because they are following the court. So it took many, many, many years for the court to judge and to decide. So everybody will provide his evidence. And we can see that the court of Israel evacuating Israeli, not only Palestinian, from a land they don't, be, don't, don't belong to them. Go and search. And you will see the Israeli police capturing those and fighting with them and even using violence with their own Jewish citizen because they took a land don't belong to them, according to the law, not according to the general word of the country. A bunch of Jews, they go and they took a land of somebody, he's an Arab. What the court did? They sent the police, evacuate them. This is not your land. Give the land back to the person who won it. So it was about houses, and now how we respond for houses, we shoot missiles. And what we say in the Twitter, kill them wherever you find them. And then the coward, they hide behind the children's. And then when the children, they die, they say to you, do you see? They killed a child. They killed a child. They will not tell you that they are hiding behind the child, shooting at somebody, and then that somebody shoot back, and that make the child die. Who is the one responsible for the child? It is the coward who hide behind the child. And the funny, I saw a video where the Mohammedan, they were cheering for sending missiles on uh, on Gaza, oh, sorry, in, 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 on sorry, in uh, Tel Aviv and other cities in Israel. <speaking> Allahu <in> Akbar, Allahu <Hebrew> Akbar. And then when the missile of the Israeli come, and look how silly the Israeli are. They send a warning to the building where the terrorists are hiding, saying to them, we are going to knock it down. Why? Because they are afraid that many civilians, they are in the building. Okay. But how you can kill those terrorists? 
They send a warning. Each time they want to attack a building, they shoot a small tiny missile as a warning, like a smoke missile. And they wait for a few minutes and then the second shot will come and the third shot will come and they will destroy the building. You are giving warning to the terrorists to run away. The Israeli, they say, well, it's true, but the purpose is not to make the terrorists run away, to make the civilian run away. So those terrorists, they are taking advantage of the good-hearted Israeli people. Let me see if this is the, the one. Uh, this is the video where they were cheering. No, not this one. Yeah, I'm trying to find the video where they are cheering to Allah. Allahu Akbar, brother. Allahu Akbar. And they are celebrating. They are very happy. Yeah, there's tons of videos. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> the only problem I see in this war that I don't trust this person. His name is Netanyahu. You see, in order to win a war, you do not want to have a politician as a leader. You don't want that. People who do politics, they do politics. They don't care really for what is right. So if this guy Netanyahu, you feel like he is not going to be a future Prime Minister, even now he is almost maybe gone. He will think always about his future as a politician, not as a future of his country. The Israeli, they need a real leader. They need someone, maybe not half of David. Someone is strong. Someone is not a businessman. Someone he is willing to do whatever it take. We will see in the coming few days what this Netanyahu will do. Is he going to back down and waste the opportunity to destroy those terrorists for good? Is he going to make a deal like as every time they go and attack you and you let them go? And then, you know, the, the, the king of Jordan or the president of Egypt, he says to you, we will make them agree to, to cease fire for the coming year. And what does that mean? The coming year you are going to kill our children? Who is the stupid here? The coming year? Those people, they sign a peace agreement already with Israel. In return, the stupid government of Israel gave their own land to them. This is the land of the Jews. They gave them the East Bank. They gave them Gaza. And they thought, the stupid government of Israel, they thought that if we do that, they will leave us alone. Good luck with that. They are just fooling themselves. This war is religious war. It's not about land. And because it is religious war, as long as this religion is exist, the war against you will never stop. Because their prophets say to them that this is a war should continue until the judgment day. And when a Jew hide behind me, the rock say, come and kill him. This is why this filthy man is quoting for you from the Quran. Kill them wherever you find them. It's 
Allah who took them away from their land. And the funny, even the stupid Quran agree that this is their land. The Quran did not even deny that this is the land of the Jews and the land of the Christians. The truth is that the land of Israel should be all the way to Mecca. Why the world is rewarding the one who kicked out the Jews from their houses instead of supporting the victims? Muhammad, he committed genocide against the Jews. He killed their babies. He killed their children. He kicked them out of their lands. At Jazeera TV, they made a big documentary about how the white American man took the land of the Indian. But the coward, the owner of Al Jazeera TV, he will not tell us who is the owner of Jordan or Syria or Turkey or Iraq or Egypt or Tunisia or Libya or Morocco or even Spain, they took Spain, they took even Romania, they took Bulgaria, they took almost, almost all of Europe. And when you take it back, you will see every single Muslim swearing, by Allah, we will take back Spain, by Allah, we are going to invade Rome, by Allah, they don't, they don't even hide it. So this war, there is no peace agreement will solve it. Only foolish people like Trump and foolish people like Netanyahu who want to make business. You know those people, they want to do business or what they care for making some money in their pocket. Only foolish people, they believe that such a thing will happen. It's called peace. This war is about religion. It's not about stones. This is have nothing to do with the stones. This is have nothing to do with the houses. This is the truth. It is about religion. The filthy Muhammad said, this is Hitler. You see, Hitler, he admired Muhammad. This is why the Muslims, they serve in the army of Hitler. The biggest brigade for killing Jews in the time of Hitler was Muslims from Albania and Bosnia. Go search right now in Google. And the only Imam who met with Hitler, it was Al Husseini, the one who is the one descended supposedly from the family of the King of Jordan. And he is the head of the religion of Islam at that time. He met with Hitler. Why? Because they share the same religion. And as you see, Muhammad here is calling for genocide of the Jews. The messenger of the devil Allah said, the hour will not establish until you fight the Jews and the stone behind me, the stone will stream, will say, hey, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. So do we understand what is the reason behind this war? Only foolish, naive people think it's about a land. Muslims, they want to take all the world not only Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a step, is a needle in their way. They could not take it that after 2000 years, the Jews, they took back their land. They cannot take it. They will not be able to take it if we, the Christians, took back Constantinia. They cannot take it. They could not believe it that the Spanish people, they took back their land. They could not take it. Because 
they have the right to occupy your land you have no right to take it back for this is a fascist nazi cult they believe that they are supremacist and even muhammad he said the muslims are the best of mankind and the best of mankind is the one who chain mankind like dogs and put a chain around their necks and bring them into islam which means force you into islam Do you see it? This is not an opinion. This is their prophet saying that. Muslims, they have the right for they believe that they are supremacist. They are the best of mankind. So when those guys in Hamas, they speak to the Jews, they call them pigs, they call them monkeys. There is a reason for that. The Quran says such a thing. I believe strongly that the Israeli, the same as the Christian, they want peace with everybody. And that's why they are signing peace agreement, fooling themselves, hoping for peace. They sign peace agreement with Imarat. But this is fake agreement they sign peace agreement with egypt but this is fake agreement it is temporarily when the muhammadan they get the power they will do this kill them wherever you find them they've been ordered not to sign for peace as long they are the uppermost so egypt they said to themselves we are not the uppermost and it's going to take us maybe a million years before we can be the uppermost are we going to give up the land? So the stupid Israeli government, they decide to give a land, priceless land, which their land, to the Egyptian. Muslim Egyptian, not the real, real Egyptian. The real Egyptian there is the Coptic. This is the land of the Coptic. 4,000 Arab, they invade Egypt. How in the world 4,000 Arab made the population of 100 million people, all of them, they are Arab. Can you believe it? They force their own language, they force their own culture, they force their own names, and they force their religion. And now Egypt, which is in Africa, became Arab country. Can you believe it? Arab are not African, and they have nothing to do with Africa. They force the Moroccan to say we are Arab. They force the Tunisian to say we are Arab. They force the Libyan to say we are Arab. Even Somalia, they say they claim they are. Even Eritrea. So my friend, Israel is a winner. Not because of an army you have only. But because you have the right to defend your land for God is with you you own the land it is the truth many they can lie about it but the Lord he have a promise and I I am amazed with all the prophecies in the Bible about Israel not a single one of them did not come to be true Not a single one of them will not be true. And it's not happening. Will Muhammad he admit that the one who built Al-Aqsa is Solomon, the son of David? He knew that he is a thief. He knew that he is a coward. He knew that he have no right to be there. A person who Muslim they claim that he have a vision at night he went to the seven galaxy and then he landed with donkey in the top of the Aqsa mosque this is what they have a vision of a guy mental illness suffering from a guy even his sex was false a person his wife's only even says that even when he have sex there's no witness for it which means they were not there even the Muslims agree that their prophet was possessed. 
But the Muslim, they don't believe in such a thing. They believe he was bewitched. And guess what? Who is the one who bewitched Muhammad? It was a Jew, as usual. They blame the Jew for anything. If a Muslim in Gaza, he could not have sex with his wife, he will blame the Jews. If his penis is not functioning, he will blame Netanyahu. And if you don't believe me, I can show you a reference. This is what happened with their prophet. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is the wife Aisha, the kid, the man who married her at the age of 54. She was six years old. Look how good guy he is. The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had boom, boom, between two bracket, six sexual relationship with his wife. In fact, he did not. Okay, what happened? Read down, you will see they are blaming the Jew. A Jewish guy, he put a magic over the testicles of the prophet and his brain. Read it. <laughs> Even when the penis of their prophet could not work, they blamed the Jews. Actually, if you are a Jew, you should be proud of yourself. I mean, this is the most powerful penis in the world. According to Muslim, he can have sex. He has the power of 40 men. How you can do it, man? Somebody speak to the IDF. How in the world you were able to control the penis of your the prophet of Islam from far away? Some, they say, they took some hair from his bum. Some, they say, they took some hair from his pubic area. However, it is done by stealing some hair from him. And now I understand why Sam Shamoon is bold. I mean, for safety and security. You don't want somebody to control your balls by taking some hair from you. And who is the one who did it? The Jews. And not only that, Muhammad even blamed the Jews even for the food, if your food decay. Why we have refrigerator? Because of the Jews. Like, what? Yes, brother. What do you mean, brother? What do you mean, Abdul? What do you mean? Brother, the prophet said, the brother, if there is no Jews, no food will decay, brother. So are you telling me I spend a lot of money to buy a refrigerator because of Jack Shalom? Yes, brother. So Jack Shalom is behind the food in my kitchen to be damaging. Exactly, brother. Do you see how much hateful this religion toward the Jews? If we call Zach and Naik now and we ask him, what do you think about this scientific discovery that the, that the food is damaging because of the Jews? You know, Zach and Naik, as you know, he is a... <clears throat> He's a doctor. Don't ask me doctor in what? He's a doctor. They call him Dr. Zakenek. Are you kidding me? So he must be a doctor. Right? I mean, his name is a doctor, so he must be a doctor. Let us call him in his old phone because he keep running away changing his phone. This is his grandmother house. I told you, never call me. Hey, hold on, Zach and Nick. How in the world you know that it's me and there's no calling ID in your phone? First of all, we Muslims are inspired by Allah. Well, I agree with that. I mean, obviously, inspiration is coming, working very good. I mean, you don't have a smart... I'm not calling even a smartphone. How you can do that? It's a miracle, right? Exactly. And now, why are you calling me? Uh, Zach and Nick. Why your prophet claim that the food is getting damaged because of a guy, his name is Jack Shalom, and he lives in Tel Aviv? Christian Prince, first of all, if you speak to a Jewish person, he said to you what? Uh, what he say? Khabibi, Khabibi. Okay, what does that mean? That is because their teeth is broken, and they don't know how to run the world because they are the reason behind became the world. What, what, what's, what, what teeth are broken, and they are behind the food is decayed because their teeth is broken? But, but this is their language. They don't say ha, they say ha. Christian Prince, I cannot say ha. Ah, 
so now we know that your tooth is broken actually you are the one when you speak your the, the food come from your mouth we need an umbrella what are you talking about so why the jews are behind the decay food Christian prince allah he inspired the prophet and when allah inspired the prophet allah is inspiring him okay i got nothing it's like saying to me that the prophet put water in the cup and the cup have water and this is why the water is in the cup what does have to do with my question? Why the food is decayed because of a Jew? Christopher, first of all, tell me your faith and show me your name. What? Tell me your faith and show me your name. What? Tell me your face and show me your name. It should be the opposite. Abdul, what's wrong with you? Don't get nervous. And what does have to do with my topic? Why the Jews are the reason behind the food to decay? Christopher, it's proven scientifically. Proven what? Scientifically. You mean scientifically? Exactly. That whenever the dude they go, the food gets in it. Really? Well, in my neighborhood, there's no Jews. And if I put the food outside, it's still damaged. Christopher, because they use black magic. Ah, you remind me they did that to the prophet. Exactly. And now you're getting smarter. Hey, by the way, how they can control the prophet penis? First of all, behave yourself and watch your mouth. The prophet penis was put the bella. Oh, but the hadith says he could not have sex. He could not have sex because they controlled the brain, not his penis, you idiot. Ah, they controlled the brain of your prophet. So are you saying to me at that time, whatever Muhammad said, was the Jews saying it? Christian Prince, I have to hang up on you because you did not tell me your name and you did not tell me your faith. What happens I can make? Finally, you switch from telling me your face and show me your name. What happened? It's a miracle. I'm not good him. Zach and I can go. They don't dare to debate me. They knew I can crush this cult as a Christian hummus. By the way, I love hummus. Do you? And the funny, I received messages saying, shame on you, you are an Arab and you are defending the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid idiot your god defend the jews not only that the muslim they said to you do you know that the jews are racist they think they are chosen by god do those people even know their book is it the quran says we favor you upon all mankind not only mankind allah he says we favor you above the genie which means including me <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, sisters, the Muslim Jews are very racist. They think they are chosen people of God. All those verses you don't hear, it says they are chosen by God. Read. Read. Oh, I forgot you are an illiterate like your prophet. Do not know how to read. Let me call the, the, the leader of Hamas. He is doing suckering for breast women, as the prophet said. O oh, children of Israel. Call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and I preferred you on all other. Here the translation is false, by the way. It says in message, what my message? فضلناكم على العالمين. Let us see this one. Chapter 45, verse number 16. <laughs> Look, the same translator, he forgot to switch. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, children of Israel, we did the foreign time grant the children of Israel book of the power for command. Uh, this is the IDF command, you see? I, see IDF, if you are listening, talking about you. And the prophethood, so all the prophet from the Jews, I mean, what is that? I mean, come on, get us some prophet from Indonesia, man. What about Bangladesh? What about making Zakir Naik a prophet for half day? I mean, aren't you? Allah, you are really sick. I come on. And then, and prophethood we gave them for sustenance, things good and pure, and we favor them above the nations. Do you see it? How many of you hate me? 
don't forget to subscribe to my video and if you do not if you subscribe already don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will give you give you a double reward if you unsubscribe from a Christian prince <laughs> So my friends, we pray for Israel, we pray for peace, we don't want anyone to get killed, but I believe that a strong army bring peace. Strong leadership bring peace. A very simple question for all the Israeli. Who is preventing the coward Erdogan from attacking you? Right now as we speak, Erdogan is shelling the land of the Kurdish right now why he don't dare to shell Israel it is your army my friend as simple as that it is your army who prevent them from destroying you Erdogan, he made a speech about not to kill Muslims, but in the same day he's attacking the Kurdish. In the same day he's attacking the Syrian. In the same day he have tens of thousands of people arrested because they don't like him and they are Muslims. It's okay to Erdogan to kill. It's not okay to others to kill. When Saddam Hussein, he slaughtered the Kurdish by tens of thousands by using chemical weapon, not a single Muslim he strike in the street. Why? Because they have a license to kill. This is the truth. Erdogan, his army is all over the place, killing Kurdish. He sent even assassination to assassinate Kurdish leaders in Europe. They kill. They shoot. They take down. They support ISIS. What is preventing them from attacking you? It is your army. So I, I say to the Israeli, stand behind your army. I saw some Orthodox Jews humiliating the army. Shame on you, those who do that. If not that army, you will be dragged in the ground as if you are an animal. It is your army who protect you. It is your army who preserve you. It is your army who keep you alive. If we take your army away and your weapon away, they will swarm your land and they will make a mascara, the same as Muhammad he did before. We advise everybody to love peace. We advise Muslims to come to peace. But the problem with Muslims that they are Muslims who follow Muhammad and Muhammad forbid them from following peace as the Quran said. Cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. So if you are a Jew, if you are an Israeli, you have to put that in your mind. If they sign an agreement with you today, this is temporarily. So you have always to be ready for war in order to preserve your peace. If you sleep, if you think really they became your friend, you are just fooling yourself. Muhammad, he told them clearly that the hour will not come until they slaughter every single Jew. Every single. And this is a hadith every terrorist in the world keep reciting it. Muhammad, he did not say, kill the bad Jews. He said, a Jew, any Jew, 
and all the Muslims and Muhammadan believe in this filthy man. So when Trump, he says to you, we are going to sign a peace agreement, don't be fooled by Trump. Trump is a businessman. There's no peace agreement. It's just temporarily. Be ready, be vigilant, because the wolves are surrounding you from every direction. And they cannot wait to rip you apart. And this is the truth. And the truth hurt. And because you say the truth, people fight you. People hate you. This is the truth. So I'm not going to keep you longer. Feel free to download my videos, share them around. As you know, I don't keep my videos because YouTube loves me very much. I'm loved by Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and YouTube forbid me from receiving donation. So they thought if they do that, I will not come online. <laughs> Like how we can stop this guy? How we can stop him? Okay, we will not allow him to collect donation, okay? And now Christian Prince, he will not show up. No, he, I don't show up really. I just stayed like five hours, six hours. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, they think I am Hamas. By a bunch of dollars, I can sell my nation. And by the way, all the Israeli information about Hamas is given to them by Hamas. Because these people there, for a dollar, they are willing to give you anything. Give them $10. Okay, $20. Let us negotiate. We knew how it worked. Nobody betray Muslims as much as Muslims. Who is the one who killed the Caliphate? All the Caliphate? Muslims. Who killed Uthman? Muslims. Who killed Ali? Muslims. Who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Muslims. I mean, where is the Christian? Where are the Jews? Muslims. It's a nation of betrayal. And they knew it. So I want to say thank you. So I will keep it short. This is short, supposedly. This is what short of a Christian Prince video is. Is an hour and 11 minute. 11, 11, 51 minute. Okay, that's amazing. I will finish in 51 minute. That's a miracle. I think Allah inspired me now. So guys, download the video, share it to your friends. As you know, I don't keep it. And my love as an Arab person to the Israeli people, I pray for you. I, I encourage you to be strong. Never leave your land. Never be a coward. For history, don't remember coward ones. History, they will not even write their names. History, write the names of heroes. And even God, he will not forgive you for giving out your land. The Lord, he said clearly, he will gather you from every, from the four corners of the earth, the four directions of the earth. And he did. And you've been giving the land back. And if you betray your God, that will be your last chance. Never do that. Because there's no home better than home. And there's no land better than your land. And there's no better than you living with your own people finally. You are not just a Jew who live in Europe. Some people, they say to you, do you know that there's Jews now, they are so white? So you want the Jews to live in Europe for centuries and centuries and centuries, and they will not mix, but still they are Jews, my friend. If the Assyrian, they live in America for a thousand years, still they are Assyrian. They try their best to rip you from your identity so you will lose your land. Never give your identity. My love to all the people of Israel. We pray for you. We support you in every way, in every mean. And we support you for a very simple reason. For you are right. Not because we are siding with you. If you are wrong, trust me, Christian Prince will say you are wrong. I don't side with anyone. I don't side with the Christians when they are wrong. I don't side with Jews when they are wrong. I don't side with Arab when they are wrong. I will side with an Arab if he's right. I will side with the Jew when he is right. I will side with the Christian when they are right. The Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. Let your fruit show up. So if you are a Christian and you know your book, you know that this is the land of the Jews. 
Don't be under the influence of parties and politics. Don't be hypocrite. You know, if you search right now the city of David, you know what city we are talking about. If you search right now the city of Solomon, you will see what we are talking about. If we search for the temple, who built the temple, and what temple we are talking about, you will see that this is the temple belong to the Jews. So don't fool yourself. Don't be hypocrite. And if you are a person voting for Democratic Party in USA, you are voting for a party who hate Christianity and hate the Jews. This is the truth. Those Hamas, they were so quiet for the last four years because Trump was in the office. The day, Mr. You know the thing, Joe Biden came in the office, they knew now they have anti-Israel government, they have anti-Israel Congress, they have anti-Israel senators. It is our opportunity. When Trump was there, they are like cats. Nobody even dare to say meow. And now they say to themselves, the Jews are left alone. Let us do it. My friend, you are not left alone. The book says, if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Be strong, be vigilant, and be a believer. For the Lord is in your side when you are in his side. Always remember that. Thank you all. May the Lord protect you. If you like, feel free to download my videos, share them with your friends, add subtitles to your language, and we appreciate those who support us, as always. Christ is Lord, and Islam is false, and Israel belong to the children of Israel, which even the stupid Quran keeps calling them the children of Israel. Israel belong to Israel. Get it? You better do. Take care.